Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're at the Caliche Pit. We're checking a Volvo EC480D. It's leaked all the hydraulic oil out and uh, I took off the hose and the owner went to buy it. But this video I'm going to show you how to add the hydraulic oil to this Volvo because it is different from the other ones. It has a different compartment where you add it and also the level, the way you position it to add is different. So let's get to it. Okay, we have here a Volvo EC480D. And uh, the position you see it in is the where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be all the way out, extend it completely before you check the hydraulic oil, before you add. Not the same as the other one where the boom is in a little bit, straight down. This one's supposed to be all the way out. And um, actually it should be on a flat surface and all the way out, but since it's out of hydraulic oil, we can't cut it on and uh, move it because we don't want to damage it. The hose is uh, it's taken off because the, it was leaking and the owner went to buy a new one, so I'm going to put it on as soon as he gets back. So, but I'm going to show you while he's gone how to check the oil and how to add it. Okay, because I'm going to go ahead and add in two. Okay. If you look at this diagram here, you see the one on the top where it shows the boom extended all the way out. That is the correct position the boom has to be in before you even check the oil. And you see the one in the bottom it has the X. Never do it that way because the boom, the cylinders are all filled up with oil. And if you fill it to the top and then you operate the machine, the oil is going to come out the top. If it can come out, it's a sealed system, so the oil will have no place to go, so it may cause some damage. So make sure before you fill it, it's in that position right there, just as it's depicted on the top line. Okay, and then we're using uh, ISO VG46 or AW46 for the hydraulic oil. Now, you might notice, you see this one here? This is a Volvo. I showed you, and that one over there is a John Deere. And if you look inside, you'll see that basically they are the same. Because there are only two or three companies that make all the excavators, the big ones. And they just make some changes, you know, cosmetic and the engine changes in some of them. And then the position, for example, uh, when you add the oil, some of them are different. And the hydraulic system, some differences, but not much. Okay. And this same compartment right above, see the picture there. So you can see this side because this is where the pump is at. And the hydraulic filters are here also. And fuel filters. So if you look right here, you will see this is the sight glass here. And it is empty. You see, it doesn't show any oil because the hose busted and all came out. But you can see two red lines. One there and one there. So when you fill it up, you fill it up to the top line. And you add again when it goes down below the bottom red line. As long as it's between these lines, when you check it, it's fine. If it's below the bottom line, then you need to add some to the top line. That's all. Now, if you look here up on top, you will see this little part right here. The little vent, air is coming out. And this is where you're going to add the hydraulic oil. Look over to your right here, and you see that's for diesel. So you can't get them mixed up. The one close to the engine right here, close to this door, that's where you add the hydraulic oil. But to add it, you got to take out these bolts here. Once these bolts are removed, you pull this cover off. Never touch that one. That's a filter. So this is the one you want to take off. Take off these bolts here on the outside. Pick it up, move to the side. Then you add the hydraulic oil. Let's add some oil. These here are 16 millimeter and they're actually pretty, pretty loose already. I've already loosened them up with a big ratchet because I only have one hand to use right now. You just take these off. First, you want to clean them on the outside so no trash falls in there. I want to make sure no trash falls in there. Then once they're loose, Kind of pull them out. Don't put them too far away because they fall down. You'll we'll be missing one. And they have a little flat washer. No lock wash. No lock washers. Make sure you release the air first. It's already released. Don't want to have any pressure go back in your face. So 
It would just be air though, not fluid. Wouldn't taste too good though. Okay. And here, is the last one. Nope, next to the last one. Okay. Let's move these over here. We don't want to drop them in the tank by accident, so. Okay. in a while. Let me grab a screwdriver to pry it off then. It looks like someone put silicone sealer on this. I've never seen that before because it doesn't need it. It might get caught in the pump and stuff. It has this rubber o-ring here so the o-ring seals it. Uh, it's kind of flat, so maybe that's why they put a new one. Instead of replacing the seal, the O-ring seal, they decided to put silicone sealer on it. But uh, I'm not going to put any silicone sealer on it. I'll ask the owner if he wants me to buy him a new gasket. I'll get a new gasket, but I will not put sealer on it. And if you look down in the tank, that's where the oil goes. You just kind of pour it until you get it up to the line. Let's see. If you look in there, you can see the hoses where it comes. Okay, let's get this thing here. Now, Open this bucket up here. Oh, that's it. Came out. Okay, let's see if we can pull this piece out of there. The spout stayed down inside the bucket, unfortunately. It makes it a little messy. Okay, well, it's out enough. Anyway, when you pour this stuff, you don't want to pour it like this because it'll make a mess. It'll keep coughing. You turn it around, the spout's up on top like this. Then you kind of lift it up like this, and you can pour. Let me get the trash off of it. It's dirty. I want this stuff to fall in the inside of the hydraulic oil, so we'll clean it off the best we can. Okay, make sure the spout's up to the top, not on the bottom. That way to pour smooth. See that? Just kind of dump it over like that. It all comes out. Still got a ways to go. If you put it with the spot down, it'll just start spitting out the hydraulic oil. So this way it works out a lot better. This is a five gallon tub and we have two. So we're gonna put in the 10 gallons. 
It's probably about 15 gallons low, but we should do it for him. But let's check the gauge to be sure. Put the one bucket in there. Okay, that one. That one's empty. Now let's check. Oops, let's check there. Oops. See that? It went up some. Up to the bottom line. See that? So we but no, it hasn't the bottom line is here. The bottom red line is here. The top red line is here. This is where you fill it up to. And if we check it, if between these two lines, the bottom and the top one, you don't add. But it's not up to the top one. Not up to the bottom one either. So let's go ahead and add the other jug. Okay. Let's get this out of here. This one now. There we go. That's better. Okay, let's clean the top off. Yeah. Pour it with the top, the spout on top, not on bottom, so we don't make a mess and lose a bunch of oil. Okay. As you might have noticed, it's not a clean job. It pays well. But it's not very clean. This is a caliche pit. For those of you who know what that is. Some countries don't have caliche pits. They don't have caliche. We got a lot. Let me see the level. Okay. Yeah. So with this jug here, it won't actually make it to the top line, but it'd be good enough for them to work and they can add more if they want to add more later. It'll be close to the top line. Because it is moving up, so it's only got like a gallon left in the tub. Okay, like I said, someone put some silicone sealer on this, and you're not supposed to, because it might get in and damage the pump. So, I'm not going to take it off, because it's already hard. I don't have a replacement gasket. See, it has this little O-ring here. Can you see this O-ring? Yeah, this O-ring is supposed to be thicker. It's just completely worn. It's been a, it needs a new one. So, I guess rather than replace it, they... Uh, Put silicone sealer. I'll uh, order one for the customer from the Bobo dealer. Now Tommy needs it because he's not going to want to stop the machine because of that. He'll get mad at me. So we put this back on. Line the holes up to where they match. 
Put the bolts back in. Make sure the holes line up in the right spot. There we go. Put one on that side and one on this side. That way it'll be aligned and it doesn't go in easy. Oh, this shit. Someone left me a message, well, a comment on my last video, said that I needed to get some uh, power tools. Actually, I do have power tools, but you know, I'm an old dude, you know. If I need power tools, I'll actually pull them out and use them, but I'm not gonna do it for a few bolts and nuts. And you know, I'm an old dude too. I'm, I like just to ratchet and the rent when I can. And if I can't, well, I'll get a power tool. All that fancy stuff. Young folks have to use fancy tools. Okay, let's see. These don't have to be too tight because they don't get much pressure. Well, at least when the seal is good, but I'll tighten them up a bit. But I'm not going to put any silicone on it. It doesn't have, they're not supposed to have silicone sealing on it. Especially not in the hydraulic reservoir. I'll tell the owner and I'll order him a gasket. He can go pick it up or he can leave it there. He'll, knowing him, I know he'll want to get a new O-ring for it quick. And that's what we'll do. Is that one stripped? No. Yep, that one's stripped. Huh. Strange. Okay. Okay. Let's check the level. Oops. Okay, if you can see that. Oh, I don't see any lines. It actually, let's see, it made it to the top red line. So it's actually at the full point. We're good to go. That's all you got to do. Actually, you crank it up and check it again, but we can't crank it up. We got the uh, hydraulic oil added up to the level. Now, I can't start it up because I'm still missing the hose. The, operator, the owner went to get the hose. I can't show you which hose is. Okay, let me show you. See that hose right there? It's missing and it goes into there, right there. So I can't crank the machine up because once I put the hose on, there'll be a little bit of air in the system where those, inside of those lines once we put them on. So you crank it up, the line level may go down just a little tiny bit, but not much. So it should be done. Thank you very much for watching this uh, quick video. I hope it can help you out. Trying to add some hydraulic oil to a Volvo excavator. Um, please hit give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because we have a lot more coming up in the future. Have a good one.